enormous. Yeah, he's uh, ultra heavy. So for <laughs> Sun Young Lee to have a, a very close match with him was, was pretty incredible to watch. He's in for a tough match here with a, a very seasoned veteran in Osvaldo Mazzino, or as we may know him as Kekshinho. Now the way that this tournament works is that it's eight competitors for this weight division, which is under 76 kilograms. So we this this will be the last match for this division. And the winners of each side of the bracket, and it goes in order, will go on to face the, the other winners. Yes. Uh, and then we will have a final. And the way that the tournament works is that the top three competitors from each division will be invited back here in November for the next spider. Yeah, tournament. so the, the semifinal rounds are very, very important as to see who gets to go to the, the final in November. And we do not have a double third place as is no, yeah, uh, common they will in fight most for third, single so elimination. Only, yep. only three spots open for a second and the one third. Kekshino right to his close guard here. Lee on top. Very strong sleeve grip. He may look to go for an arm bar here. Kashino, uh, someone that I haven't heard a lot about in this tournament, but I think is definitely in the running for one of the strongest competitors. He is, I mean, yeah. it's a very stacked division. Definitely one of the sleepers for some reason, but he's actually the second most experienced, I would say, if not the most experienced with him and Tankio having the most experience at black belt and at the highest level of the sport. And although he fights um, featherweight, uh, I was talking to him about cutting weight for this. He said he makes weight, no problem. I asked him if he was going to do Pan Ams. He said he was thinking about it, but he has to cut about 15 pounds. For feather? For feather. So That's he is not small. He was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if you look at him, he has next to no body fat on him at all. So uh, I'm not sure where that weight comes. Yeah, that would be interesting. I haven't seen him fight at lightweight at a major, so maybe this will be his introduction this year to fight <laughs> in lightweight for the rest of the year. Yeah, that seemed like a ridiculous amount of weight to cut for a big tournament like that, especially where you have to weigh in and then step on the mats right afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Cutting that much water weight seems like it's From not even From last year's qualifier, Sung Young Lee is very comfortable being in the close guard. And he was in a lot of rough spots where he seemed very comfortable at last year's qualifier. So he seemed like he was in a bit of danger there, but he also looked very comfortable. He showed a lot of explosive passing last year. So we've seen some of that in this match. And from what I've seen of his game, a um, couple of matches of his that I've seen, uh, I, I would have to describe him as an incredible athlete too, which I think yeah, definitely. people maybe um, that don't really know him that well and just think, oh, it's... You know, uh, it's a kind of, it's a brown belt from Korea that nobody really knows on the world stage. Maybe it'll be an easy match. I think uh, he surprises a lot of people. Yeah, you can even see like backstage and yesterday at the weigh-ins, he's just full of energy bouncing around everywhere. So he seems to be very pumped up about this event for this fight. He's having to deal with the Kekshino's lasso guard here. Having a bit of a hard time getting his sleeve free. Kishinya playing collar sleeve, not able to use that De La Hiva hook. Changing the foot position into lasso. He has it underneath the leg. He's going to look to elevate. Yeah, he Maybe may, go after that arm bar. Yeah, the, that overhook arm bar is there when the guy defends the sweep very hard. But, like we said, Sanya Lee looked very comfortable there. Yeah, very and he seemed to be base. very aware, too. As soon as that arm was grabbed, he immediately sat back, took the arm back. Did not continue yeah. progressing. His, his defense so far has looked very good, but he's going to have to get this lasso off to get some offense going. Trying to force, it looks like a folder pass. Shove uh, Kishino's legs to that far left side. Yeah, I believe he has a lapel grip with his that arm that's in the lasso. It's kind of stopping a little bit of the elevation from Kishino. And he lets go of the... And allows Lee to get some pretty good grips and to get fairly deep on this pass. Yeah, it's a very strong pass position from here. Kekshino must be comfortable in his half guard. Yeah, he gets his leg out pretty easily. That was almost yeah. dangerous. <laughs> if Sengen Lee moved with a little bit more urgency there. Yeah. But to your point, it looked like Kishino looked very comfortable, even though 
if I were in that same position, I would feel immediate danger. I would, it'd be like an all hands on deck. Got to get some guard yeah, recovery work. For the top guy, usually you'll see a lot of urgency and a lot of explosiveness trying to they get know. that knee cut, at least to get around the legs for the advantage. Because you know that there's no grips on you. Similar to what we saw in the in Tanquinho's match, where he passed from a very similar position. Kick Shino back to his lasso guard with the other sleeve this time versus he had the, oh, there he goes, right back to the collar grip. Oh, and on this arm, and he's forcing this into an arm bar, and this is tight, and he gets the, gets the tap, beautiful stuff. Very nice entry there. He that was right, a sneaky one. Yeah, right when he locked the one plot up, he went for that, the arm bar. Lee looked very, very comfortable. Looked like he wasn't in danger. I visually saw the position, did not think that there was much danger, and then all of a sudden, yeah, that arm got pulled like right Yeah, it he almost through. got his arm out for a second. With Gipshino did a very good job locking it down and getting the finish. The winner by submission is Osvaldo Moisito. So, so far, our semifinal matchups for the under 76 is set. We will have Mateus Lutis versus Tanquinho and yep. Levi Jones versus Kekshinho. Very interesting semifinal matchups. Oof, man. And here's a replay. This is from the guard pole. Trying to work the pass here. That is where he almost had the, the armbar attack over. Caught that elbow out, and then when he went to snatch it out, got yes. his arm straight. And this arm bar is something that catches people a lot. This is that same arm bar. That I like to call it the front arm bar. It's the same one that uh, uh, was used in the UFC by, I think it was Jeremy Horn. Oh, uh, yeah. A long time ago. It's, yeah, it's a very, 